Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to the Mercy Thiero Summer 2019 Inspirational YouTube Hop. Today I will be documenting that photo of my daughter. I will be doing a 12 by 12 layout and the challenge that I'm doing today would be off the board, which will be a layout that I was inspired by a pin on my Pinterest board and this is the layout that I'm using for inspiration today. Now I will be using mostly items from the Wild Honey collection from Vicky Booten, but I'll also pull in some of her other collections as well for my embellishments. So I will go ahead and use this pattern paper with the chevron which I think goes really nicely with that layout that I'm using as inspiration and at first I was going to use the red back side of that chevron paper but then I decided to use the script pattern paper instead. So I'm going to begin by trimming down my photo and next up I will go ahead and get those branding strips off of my pattern paper and then work on the main elements for the background of this layout. So if you'd like to take part in this challenge that I'm doing today or any of the challenges you see on this hop today, check out my description box below. I'll go ahead and add the Facebook group, the Mercy Tierra Facebook group down below, as well as any other information you may need as far as taking part in the challenges. So here you can see I'm using mostly the red and yellow as the main colors for these chevron pieces that I'm going to add as well as a little bit of that black and I think that's more of a really deep blue black almost and there's one part of the chevron piece that's not going to have any black in there but I will add a bit of it later on you'll see I just add that piece in on the bottom now I will go ahead and list all of the items I used today on this layout down in my description box. So be sure to check that out. And you can see here, once I'm adding these elements to this background paper, it looks a little odd. You can see the edges do not really look really good right now. But once I add my embellishment clusters, a lot of that gets covered up and all you see is the chevron design and the little peaks of those pattern papers and it all comes together in the end and it looks pretty close to the inspiration piece that I'm using except of course mine's is a lot more colorful with using this collection that I'm using today. So now I'll begin working on my photo. I'll add quite a few mats behind there and I'm using the scrap left over from that chevron paper. I'm using the back side of it, the red, which will allow my photo to definitely pop off the page a bit against this really colorful background that I'm gonna create. And instead of cutting into any of the other 12 by 12 pattern papers I had, I got these six by six wild honey uh, pattern papers in my SCT sample kit this month so it worked out really nicely and it allowed me to save my 12 by 12 papers so here I'm going to continue matting this photo So you'll see I do stick really closely with the inspiration layout that I'm using today and on that layout there is some stitching on the chevron. Now I hardly ever stitch directly on my layouts 
and I really wanted to add that element in so I decided to go with a faux stitching using my white gel pen and I really love what that added to these chevrons. It made it the chevrons stand out a lot more than if I didn't add that in. So I'm really happy I added that in. There's also a scallop edge to the chevron on the inspiration layout. And instead of adding a scallop edge, I will go ahead and add some washi instead. So here I'm just going to go ahead and add my photo on my layout and I do add some foam tape behind the photo so that way it stands up just a little bit away from the background. And here is that inspirational layout once again so you can see how my own is looking compared to that one. And next I will begin working on my title now that layout does not have a title on it but i decided i wanted to have a title on this so i grabbed these puffy word phrases and these are from vicky Booten, and i'm gonna add in my title that says hello beautiful So next, I'm going to start creating those really full clusters around the photo and on that top chevron as well. And I am using some die cuts from Vicky Booten, but it's not from the Wild Honey collection, but it goes really nicely with it. And like I mentioned before, I'll go ahead and list all of these items down below on the exact collection that it comes from. I cannot remember the name of it right now. Now, right now, I'm just pulling out anything that I think would work well with the layout you'll see a lot of it will stay some of it will go and some of them I do cut in half because I do not want to waste any of my die cuts any part of the die cut that will not be seen I do cut it out and I use it somewhere else on the layout and here I really wanted to use these butterflies, but they look so huge right now. So I put them aside and I do find some smaller ones. And you'll notice that those butterflies, there's a white border around them. And I really wasn't liking that. So later on, I do trim that off before adding the smaller ones to this layout. So here I have a basic idea of where I want everything to be. So I'm going to start adhering and you will notice that I did add some liquid adhesive to that floral piece, but then I decided I wanted it to be lifted off the page a bit. So I added some foam squares behind it instead. And here's where I'll go ahead and start adhering a lot more of these floral pieces down. So you will notice once I add these butterflies to the layout, I only add adhesive to the center part and that way I can have my wings lifted off the page just to add a little bit more dimension to the layout. So 
So now I'm going to fill in some of the spaces in these clusters and I'm using some of these chipboard stickers from the sticker sheet and I'm adding some word phrases in as well. So I wanted a bit more dimension to this page and I decided to add some of these leaves and I'm just punching them off using some of the scraps from the mats that I used before behind my photo and I also grabbed this white cardstock as well. Now once I adhere these leaves to the layout I only add adhesive to the bottom part and that way the top part of the leaves will stand off the page and it adds a bit more dimension to the layout. So here I decided to add a few more chipboard word phrases and I will add in a third butterfly as well and I do cut that white border out from around it. Now I do add some Nouveau drops to the center of each of the butterflies and then I wipe it off. I wipe off the excess just so it have that little coppery uh, shine to it. And here I'm just using the same Nuvo drop and I'm adding some all around my layout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this process today. Let me know what you think down below and be sure to check out the Mercy Tierra Facebook group and join in on all of the fun challenges over there and follow along with the hub for lots and lots of inspiration on those challenges today. So I want to thank you all for watching and until my next video, bye.